Okay, well, here's another example. I'm gonna work on how to just keep it neat and clean. I'm not gonna go over bending pipe just yet. I'm just showing you one of the jobs that I'm working on and uh, it's all exposed piping, like I was talking about. Here's your level. I got the pipe hanging down. There's nothing connected to it. Stick a doggone level with a magnet on it, like so. Put it against the wall. I've already got my strap in there. I've got my box connected to it. All I gotta do is move it over one way or the other and right in between the bubble. Take my black marker, dot, a dot, and a dot. And I've got my spaces for, not my spaces, but you know, marking where I want my stuff. So, I want my anchoring points, what have you. Ask me to get technical at the end of the day. I'm ready to go home. I don't like working eight hours. Very lazy. These little connectors, these little babies right here. Came at Home Depot. I didn't know what they're made out of. Cast, aluminum, something or other. These work perfect. Move the pipe over, put it right on your mark, put it right in your drill. They screw right in. Two boxes, the two holes for the box. marked out it's a uh, it's almost well it's idiot proof but that difference between a little little neater work just a couple of seconds just to put a to put a level on something means everything because this is every bit of this pipe is exposed so these guys wouldn't they wouldn't keep on using me if my stuff wasn't the cleanest around, and it is, I'm the best, it is what it is. There it is, all mounted, all mounted, level, perfect. It's amazing how right in between those bubbles, see that, is the difference between good and great. I've tried to hire on guys, and I can't even believe how they walk away from something, just garbage. So uh, when I'm done or a little further along, I'll give another progress report. Starving electrician, oh, starving. Signing off, here's the off button, right? Ooh.